Hello and welcome to Battle Blogs, the show where I take a look at the world of robotic combat, specifically the BattleBots brand. We are just moving along with the World Championship 7. And uh, boy oh boy are we going to have some fun on this one. We start off with a surprising match as Ripperoni went up against a former world champion Endgame. Endgame added long forks to try to counter Ripperoni, but it wound up getting stuck in the floor saws. Now, Rip's driver was a good sport and freed Endgame, but then showed its power and delivered a KO and a massive upset to the New Zealand championship bot. Switchback and Death Roll went at it, and Death Roll returned to its bullying ways and bossed Switchback around until an eventual KO with Captain Shredderator versus Hijinks. Both weapons seemed to go out at one point, and the Captain was seemed to be having problems driving as it uncharacteristically ran into the wall a few times, but happened to. KO hijinks when the spin came back. Next up, Rotator went up against Jackpot. Chips flew off both bots, but ultimately Jackpot just kind of stopped moving and Rotator scored a well-earned KO. With Big Dill versus Scorpios, Dill showed a surprising amount of control, but at one point just suddenly stopped moving. Scorpios took the KO and the win. Banshee went up against Valkyrie. Val added a fork to try to counter Banshee, but wound up getting flipped over and the fork kind of knocked off. Banshee had a little bit of drive issues, but the judges ultimately ruled for Banshee. In the main event, we had a grudge match with Hydra versus Tantrum. Hydra wanted revenge for their previous matchup that they thought they were wronged in losing the previous time. This time, however, Tantrum was able to self-right and then nail the underbelly of Hydra, which caused the... which caused Hydra to, well, lose. And Tantrum proved that it deserved the championship it won. This was a good one. Honestly, right out the gate, Ripperoni beating Endgame was a shocker. And I really hope there's a lot more shockers uh, along the way with the rest of the tournament. I love when the unexpected happens. At least in the, at least in the world of robotic combat. I can't wait till next week when we hear Farouk say, It's robot fighting time. 